When the man opens the door, he is faced with the back of his head. He is stuck in a vicious circle. No! No! In a room with two doors, an electrician is fixing the electronic pass system of one of them. Quickly repairing the lock, he enters the correct code and opens the door. Entering the room, the man is surprised to realize that he entered the same room through the opposite door on the right. Looking back, he returns through the right door from which he left, but again exits from the left. Moreover, stopping in the doorway, he sees himself behind in the doorway on the right. In disbelief, the electrician re-enters the right door and exits the left. The realization that he might be stuck in some kind of spatial loop is clearly shocking to him. The man tries to enter different access codes, but nothing changes. After some thought, he decides to open and prop up the left door with his tools, thereby, as it were, propping up the right one as well. After that, he begins to slowly walk to the left and exit to the right. And so again and again. Then he smoothly switches to running, which turns into a real sprint, accompanied by a loud hysterical cry. In the end, the electrician gets tired, decides to rest a little, drink water and have a snack. Out of boredom and helplessness, he does not think of anything more effective than to crumple up some rubbish and throw it in the open door at his own back. But even in such a stupid task, you can perform well. Now he not only throws the paper to himself, but also catches it safely. A little depressed, the man tries to crawl to try to catch his leg. But the idea fails. In desperation, he tries again to enter different codes, but nothing changes. After that, the electrician finally gets upset and starts doing outright nonsense, lying on the floor, trying to find some use for a hammer, drill and tape measure. Deciding to use the tape measure as a skipping rope, the man successfully breaks it. He also tries to parody the robot, giving out the appropriate sounds with the help of a clerical knife. Suddenly, the electrician notices that the doors on both sides have closed. He takes apart the electronic lock again and repairs something there. Suddenly, the doors to the right open and a mysterious ball appears in the room. It abruptly turns back, not giving the man a chance to notice it. After that, a luminous ball hangs in the middle of the room, somewhat resembling a huge molecule of an atom. After shocking the electrician, the ball also abruptly disappears. Suddenly, a group of medics appears from the right door with a stretcher on which a strange woman is sitting. As if nothing had happened, they pass through the left doors and the electrician enthusiastically follows them. But, unlike him, they all safely go further, while the man is still stuck in the room. This clearly pisses him off, he starts freaking out, screaming and crying, after which he lies on the floor and falls asleep. The room darkens sharply and the glowing ball reappears. And instead of a man, under him is either some kind of child, or a dwarf. All of a sudden it all disappears and returns to normal. Perhaps it was just a dream. The electrician wakes up and decides to meditate a bit. Later, he again tries to get into the electronic lock and suddenly causes some strange digital draft, reminiscent of a glitch in the matrix. And then something new happens, another electrician appears from the right door, the same electrician. They are very surprised at each other and the person who enters tries to escape. But he returns. And now there are two of them. The second man tries to get out again, but the first one won't let him in. He gets sick and a little nauseous. They are clearly not happy with each other's company, because from that moment on they are completely discouraged and do not communicate at all. While one of them sleeps peacefully in the corner, the other pays attention to the bare wires sticking out of the lock. Apparently the electrician intends to arrange a short circuit. With the help of a clerical knife, he cuts his clothes into pieces and tries to make a kind of rope out of them. For better conductivity, the man even pours juice over them. He attaches one end of the rope to the wire, and throws the other end into the doorway so that the rope is on the floor in the middle of the room. But since he is a little short of length, he decides to close the circuit with his body. As a result, he grabs a bare wire and electrocutes himself. For a moment, the light in the room disappears and the mysterious fireball with the child reappears. And disappears again. The awakened second electrician sees his dead twin and screams in fear. Here he decides to slightly open the doors on the right and notices that the loop has finally ended. With a cry of joy, the man runs away. It turns out that the first electrician did not die, but only lost consciousness. He comes to his senses, rises and chooses the left door. Behind it, he discovers digital interference, similar to a code error in a poorly written computer game.